Welcome to Flash CS5 tutorial. Make a comic book part 3. I have the part 2 on the my monitor now. Locking all layers and I'm going to make the stage around 50% so I can see the whole thing. Coming down to the bottom, the very bottom, I'm going to insert a new layer and call it page 1. P A G E page one, and I'm going to make sure that's on the very bottom. It's the only layer that's unlocked. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hide all the layers so I can see what I'm doing here with this frame one of page one layer, and I'm going to pick up a color other than other than white. Draw a rectangle use my selection tool and highlight it open the properties panel and make sure this is un this link is unlocked the width is our stage is 300 and the height is 450 open the alignment panel make sure align the stage is on horizontally center it vertically center it and there's my page one I can bring everything back now so I can see it locking all my layers pulling this down I'm going to go up to 45 and I'm going to select all them layers like that right click insert a keyframe so that brings everything up to frame 45 and this page one I'm going to click on that first frame and just drag it in so there's nothing here on that frame. Open my actions panel. And put at the very top my cursor. Enter. Tab up or arrow up. And put a stop in here. S-T-O-P. Open close bracket. Semicolon. And down the very bottom where we're hitting this this button this cont button which was in the gloop movie clip that will send us to the next page we're going to do that by going to I'm just going to comment this out back backslash and here I'm going to have G O T O all small capital A N D capital P L A Y open bracket two close bracket semicolon so what that's going to do is it's going to sit here until we press that button and once you press that button it's going to jump into frame two with all the layers locked select this comic layer insert a layer call it mask m-a-s-k Insert another layer, call it white, W-H-I-T-E. Okay. Unlock the mask layer, select frame one, and let's just move this up as high as we can get it, or the way, get that centered. I want to take, let's go with a, a stroke, red stroke any color at all for the fill rectangle tool and we're going to build a relatively large rectangle here on the stage let's click this button right here so we just see the see that button right here so I can just see the outline of this of this ma mask pick up your selection tool make sure you get the whole thing in here and we want to rotate that so pick up my freeze transform tool and grab the corner and rotate it rotate it like about that much while it's selected use my arrow keys I'm bringing it over here just so that these two corners touch the edges of that 
but what's also important is is that this got to cover a little more so I'm gonna make my hold my shift down and make it a little bigger there that's that's that for now lock that layer unlock the white layer select that first frame Want my stroke to be red and my fill to be white pick up the straight line tool and just right here draw a line get back on that there draw a line to there and get back on that and take a line up to there and if they're all touching then we should be able to fill that with the bucket Okay, I'm going to go down to 25% here for a minute. I think this has to be a little bit longer, so I'm picking my selection tool. I'm just going to pull that and make it a little bit longer. There. Unlock the mask layer. So now I have two layers unlocked. I have the mask layer unlocked and the white layer unlocked. Selection tool. And I'm going to make sure I have both of them completely selected. going to go up here these two frames right click convert to keyframes so now they're keyframes and using my arrow keys I'm going to take that over I'm taking it over until this corner is right here there and you see this this is a slight problem this got to be should be still touching that so let's go back to frame one for a minute and we got to make this mask layer a little bit bigger so lock the white layer select that first frame free transform tool Sh hold my shift down make this just a little bigger let me see I got to tab it down so this corner here is back where it should be and I gotta bring it over. Right there's good. I gotta also now move my weight so it's back about here. Good. Unlock them both again. Go up to frame 45. Select those two layers. I have everything selected. And this now can tab over just a little more. I'm saying tab on using my arrow keys. And let's see, I'm still low here. Oh, select these two frames and drag them in here. That's better. Now, using my arrow keys, bring that over. And I'm bringing it over till this reaches right here. Whoops. there pull this down lock all the layers for a minute double click on this mask layer go down here call it a mask okay this little mask thing in here right click drag that over right click drag that over right click drag that over that over that over and that over and that oh, oops and that over page one should be on the bottom and everything else page one is on the bottom everything else is inside the mask there's 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 the page one we're seeing except this white and this action script now let's click in here anywhere classic tween let's click in here anywhere classic tween and what's going to happen is this is going to come across like that till it comes to there now once it reaches here all we gotta do now is fill that white section in go up to frame 60 select all the frame all the layers insert keyframes
unlock the mask layer, unlock the white layer, make sure the mask is hidden like this. See that? Make sure that mask is hidden. And select both of these frames and rotate it. Rotate it. Rotate it. Rotate it. At the same time, bring it over to there. Make that a classic tween, that a classic tween. Let's give this a quick test. Click this to page a turn. We got a little bit of this one here being slightly a hit. The white one is slightly a hit. See that? So I'm locking the mask layer and just using my arrow keys, bringing that white one back a little bit, bit like that. Let's test that again. that kind of looks like a page turning. Go back to lock everything. Put the mask back the way it's supposed to be. Let's go back to the timeline for a minute. This action script layer, let's click on this keyframe. Get that funny little square around by your cursor. Drag it up to here open the actions panel and let's put a stop here T O P open close bracket semicolon I did a couple of things to make it look a little neater open the library panel the title movie clip select that and the yellow background layer this one here frame one off to the side. I picked up my selection tool and I picked these points up and pulled them and that gave it a, a nice appearance and also did the same thing on frame two. I picked them up and pulled them so that gives it a much sharper appearance. On the movie clip begin I went to this keyframes here and I align them up so that they have a nice shadow effect. And you have to do this on each keyframe or, or it wouldn't look right. And the other place I cleaned up was on the movie clip, the comic. Same thing. On the comic movie clip, I lined them up a little bit so they look a little bit better. And here's what the end result was. It's much cleaner. See the nice sharp points here. And look at that. That's nice. That's nice. I'm happy with that. I think that's enough for this tutorial. The next time we'll put something on this page and start to work with that. I hope you learned something from this tutorial. And I hope you use what you learned.